everyone, how's it going? Vasco here from the Angular Academy. This lesson is a more advanced example of how to use components. We're going to see how multiple components interact with each other. We're going to build a couple of components. We're going to build a color picker, a color previewer, and learn a bunch of component features along the way. So stay tuned. What we have here on this page is only the HTML for the components that we are about to build. If we click on them, there is no functionality at this moment. Let's start refactoring this and start creating our Angular tree of components. This HTML here will be part of our color picker component and here will be our color previewer component. Let's give each one of these two components a reference. Now, we saw references on previous lessons applied directly to plain HTML elements, such as a div or an input box. In this case, when a reference is applied to a component, it will point directly to the component instance. So we can use a reference to a component to call actions on it. In this case, the reset button will have a click handler that once the button is clicked, the color picker will have his reset method invoked. Let's now create some component interaction. The color picker component will output a custom color event. And when we receive an occurrence of that event, of that custom event, we are going to pass in the color that we received from the custom event into the color previewer. And again, we can do that directly using a reference. So you can see here, this is an example of component interaction where we did not write any code in the parent class, in this case, the app class. We did everything via template references. This is just one way of many of making components interact using references, more ways of component interaction in future lessons. Right now, let's implement the color picker component. We have passed it here the HTML that we had previously on the initial page. Now we are going to, to each of the color sample divs blue and red, we are going to add a click handler that once that div is clicked, we are going to trigger the choose component method and we are going to choose the color that was clicked. So we are going to create an output event emitter named color and when we click on choose, we are going to trigger the event emitter and send the new color that was chosen. We are also going to implement the reset method that we saw before. Remember that the event emitter needs to be annotated with at output, otherwise this will not work. When we click reset, we are going to emit the empty string as a color. Now let's write our color previewer component we have here the HTML that we had initially. We're just going to add it an input property using the input decorator property named color, which is a string. Now to apply the color to the text, we are going to use the core directive ng style. We're going to do a deep dive in ng style in a following lesson. Right now, let's just use it to specify the color CSS attribute of the color previewer. We are going to pass it in the color variable. Let's see what we already have here. So if we click on the color picker, the color previewer gets its color updated as expected. Now let's make the color previewer to be a component that takes both inputs and outputs. For that, let's assign the value of the color output event that we received from the color picker, let's assign it to a variable in the app class. Now we are going to pass in this variable to the color previewer as an input. Now we could not name the input property color because we already have an output event emitter named color. To solve this, we are going to rename the output to color output instead of color. But we need to tell Angular that this corresponds to the color output event. We do that by specifying that name inside the output decorator. 
We can now create the color input property and apply it to the template using again ng style. Now take a look at this, everything is still working and the pick a color title is also getting the color applied. Now with this lesson we are ready to tackle our exercise where we are going to apply everything that we have learned so far about angular components. So stay tuned!